Hi, I'm Alice from Tap with Alice. And in this video, I'd like to share with you a few tips about coping with anxiety. So one thing that people with anxiety have in common is that we tend to overthink and worry about things that haven't happened yet. And it's very difficult to be in the present moment. And activities like mindfulness, mindfulness meditation or breathing techniques are always um, advocated as being very helpful for this. And they can be helpful, but it can be very difficult when you have anxiety and you're already stuck up in your head to just switch that into mindfulness and being in the present moment. Uh, it, it often doesn't really work. And then that gives us something else to worry about, doesn't it? Oh, am I doing this wrong? Why isn't this working for me? What's wrong with me? What should I be doing differently? Um, so while things like mindfulness, meditation um, and breathing, breathing techniques can be helpful, they're, they're not always the first port of call for somebody with anxiety. What can help is to get out of your head and into your body. So the three things that I'd like to share with you today are number one, grounding. So grounding, what does that mean? It means just that, getting out of your head, bringing your attention and your energy down, 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 down into your feet. So the way that you can do that, you don't have to think about it. It's not about thinking. It's not about using your brain. It's about noticing your feet right now on the ground. Where are your feet right now? And maybe you're sitting cross-legged or maybe you're lying down. So you can notice the parts of your body that are touching the bed or the chair or the ground. And just notice that layer of skin that's touching whatever it's touching, the socks or the carpet underneath your feet. Notice that grounding feeling. And one way to really further connect with this is to walk about barefoot if it's warm enough. Um, and especially if it's warm enough to walk on the beach or in a park if it's clean and there's nothing sharp or dangerous there. Um, you know, you can walk along the, along the line of the sea and feel the sea on your feet, feel the sand underneath your feet, um, or, or walk in the forest or in a, in a field and feel the grass, even the mud between your toes. That can be a very grounding activity and it can be very helpful and it can be more helpful than thinking about, oh, now I have to focus on the present moment. So that's number one. And number two is to connect with nature in some way. So this can be similar to the first one, um, or it could be as simple as looking out of your window if you can see the sky. Even if you're in an office, you might be able to see the sky, the clouds passing by. Um, you might be able to see a tree, um, or you might be able to actually go out into your garden or into a park or have a walk in nature somewhere and just spend some time not only physically walking along or walking the dog or whatever. Put your phone away, turn it off and just connect with nature, listen to the birds, maybe smell that lovely smell of autumn leaves or flowers or something like that. Or if you're in, in your house or in an office, you might have some plants around. If you haven't got any, see if you can get some and really connect with those plants and plants that, that make your heart sing when you look at them, that make you feel, ah, oh, that relaxed feeling. Maybe a, a flower that smells nice or a plant with pretty leaves or something like that. Um, and the third one is to connect with your body in a physical way. So it could be taking some exercise, maybe you like running or swimming or, or dancing um, or, or walking, of course, um, or it could be having a massage. And you can even do self-massage, just touch your body, touch your body, press wherever feels good in your legs and your shoulders, just connect with your own body. It's anything to bring that energy out of your head and into your physical body. Because at the end of the day, that's where we live in our body. We don't live in our heads in, in the virtual world. We're actually living in our bodies. Um, and it's even better, of course, if you can do something physical with another person. So give your children a hug, stroke your cat, um, have a massage from somebody. So those three things can be really helpful. Grounding, connect with nature and connect with your body by doing something physical. And of course, you can find activities that combine all three, and those are also really great. So those are my tips for um, getting out of your head and into your body to cope with anxiety. Thanks so much for watching. You can find me on tapwithalice.com and on my Facebook page, Tap With Alice. Bye.